Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I got a new 3D printer today. I had to exchange the other one because uh, the uh, the bed screws, leveling screws, they were stripping out and popping off the nuts. So I got a new and improved one. This is the Creality CR10S Pro. And I did my first print on it overnight and uh, I'm about ready to peel it off. This is gonna be a uh, trinket that I printed out for a Valentine's gift for my wife and uh actually it's a rotating heart i'll show you where i got that from on thingiverse and i threw it into tinkercad and actually customized it with our names on it so i like that you can modify things like that if you don't know how to make a design yourself you can actually modify it in some ways if you like to uh, it kind of feels like this Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, if not, uh, welcome back. I'd like everyone to subscribe if you like what you see here today. Now I'm going off into a different subject than I usually uh, talk about, and that's 3D printing. I recently got a new 3D printer machine back here behind me. That's the Creality CR10S Pro. Before we get into the main item, I want to show you several things I've printed that are useful. Uh, some are useful anyway, like this pill container. It's got labeled on here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all the way around. It's got pill container slots right here. And you just rotate this one from AM to PM, AM to PM on every day. And you can fill this up weekly before your week starts. And then you never miss a dose of your medication that you might need good for uh, maybe older members of your family. I actually use this myself. Uh, another thing I did create was this two-piece doggy tag for my three golden retrievers. And this was made out of uh, PETG, I believe, material, glow in the dark. So these are pretty unique. If you shine some light on them before you take the doggies out for a walk, these will actually glow in the dark on their necks on their collar. So I like those and they're very sturdy. They're going to hold up for a long time. Very, very tough, hard. Uh, another thing I made as a joke is this smart wrench. And this is a crescent wrench. It printed just like this. I didn't have to put it together after I printed it. It printed just like this and it's an adjustable wrench. It says one side is metric, one side is standard, imperial, and it's a pretty, uh, funny tool you can make, especially I have technicians at my work, so I'm going to bring this in and show it to them and show them how I can print out my own tools. Another thing I printed that I thought was amazing on a 3D printer that I just wanted to see if my printer could do this, and I did this on the JG Aurora A5S 3D printer that I originally had. It had a defect, I had to return it, and I'm much happier with the auto leveling on the Creality CR10S Pro. So if you're looking for a printer, spend the extra $100 or whatever it is and get the CR10S Pro. Um, but this actually did print well on the JG Aurora 3D printer and it printed just like this on the print bed when I went to go get it. Cracked it off the bed and went to loosen this up little bit by little bit and then boom, all of a sudden I could turn it and it's a platform lift, which I thought was really cool to have all these moving parts and print it out without having to put it together afterwards. And look at that thread into that nut right there and then all these pivoting points. Truly amazing, this technology. Now, if you're wondering if you want to get into this hobby, you're going to need some tools besides the smart wrench. This isn't going to help you on the 3D printer, but what I did was I purchased this nice utility knife set, craft nice knife set. comes in this case with all these tips right here for cutting. Sometimes you get some prints that need a little work, and you can easily... Uh, 
finish up your work with those. Another nice tool, which I can't do without now, this is a file with, uh, if you remove the end cap, you've got all these file tips that fit right into the uh, top here. This is the common one that I use. It's a flat, double-sided, even the edge has a file on it. And these just store in here for whenever you might need them. Let me put them back here. And screw the back cap back on. And there's your file. Another thing you're going to need is like a nice pair of wrenches and cutters like this. I bought these as a set. And uh, it even came with a curved set uh, of pliers. These can pull off extra strings or hangings that you might have on your prints. And if you want to design your own prints, you're going to need one of these gauges, measurement gauges. It's got a digital readout. I really like that. And you can push it up, reset to zero right here with this button. Make sure it's always at zero when it's all the way in like that. And you can feel for outside diameters and inside diameters. So that's a must have if you want to start designing your own things. Now, lots of times I'll create, uh, I'll find a design online from Thingiverse or something like that, and I'll modify it. And you can modify it. That's going to save you some time if you use somebody else's free print that they offer online, and you can modify it to however you want, like I did with the Terminator head. I made the smart Terminator head. I'll show you that. This is another one of my cool prints. I just printed this recently. You may have seen another video where I did one uh, like this in chrome. This one's in gold with more detail. And I cut out the sides and the slots in the back and the front and stuff like that. Installed the LED lights. But what I like about this one the most is you can remove the skull cap and there's actually an echo dot inside and that means he's got a brain now this terminator head i modified in tinkercad and that's my favorite right now. It's very simple to use free online software that you can log into uh, any computer or tablet anywhere you're at and start on your design. Uh, and if you have to leave off from the design, you can start up later at a different computer. It's always there. It's in your library. Okay, right here, this is uh, Thingiverse and this is the heart gears design and the gentleman that uh, made this is uh emmett emmett actually put this design together it's really unique it turns around in rotation and mixes the heart up and then forms it back again and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that as the gift and i also downloaded this other see this is tinkercad this is where you can modify your 3d designs if you like which I do on most of mine. And this right here is going to be like a little uh, cage, a protective cage for that heart. And I'm going to make a little stand in it. I have to put the heart together after I peel it off the printer. And then I got to take some measurements to see how uh, wide to make this uh, cage and how wide and, you know, how to make the stand for it inside. And then see this lid. This is a lid that goes on top of here. And I put since 2001 our uh, wedding anniversary date so stay tuned I'll show you a little bit more as we get further along okay guys these are my pieces uh, these are the like the uh, anchor pivot pins that go into here and then into the back side of the gears like that I just peeled these off the printer they did pretty well I did print a brim on it and uh, it held it on there really really good I had to really uh, snap these off the printer bed so did a good, good job with that see the uh, names i put on there and what i'm going to do is watch this video right here uh the maker of this uh 
little heart gear. Um, actually made an assembly video, so I'm going to watch that video assemble mine, and I'll come back and show you how it looks, and then I'm going to show you uh, the cage or the uh, yeah the cage case that I'm going to build for it. So I'm going to go clean these up right now. I'll leave the link below for the uh, 3D STL file for this, as well as the link for the assembly instructions if you want to take a look at that video there. Okay guys, I filed all my gears down on my uh, gear heart, and here's the, uh, the filings I had. Not too bad. I think I did, I did a, probably a better job at uh, printing these with, uh, by printing it with PETG filament. It's a harder filament and uh, stayed together really well on the print bed. And uh, if, you, if you guys need uh, a tool to get for your 3D, cleaning up your 3D prints, this is one I found. It's really cool. Works nice for uh, the size of a print. Uh, small file on both sides. Also, if you pull the back cap off, you've got all these other file sizes and shapes. So it all, it all stays together in this tool so you don't lose it. So if you do any crafts or hobbies or you need it for your 3D prints, I'll leave the link to this in the description below. It's really handy. Now guys, this is the masterpiece. This is what I created for my wife for Valentine's Day coming up here, Valentine's Day 2019. Notice it's got our wedding date on here. It says since 2001. And this is a two-piece case. Very beautiful design. I'll leave the links where I got the design for this. The, uh, the lid just lifts off like this. And I even put something on the lid. A little saying that I wanted on the lid because I didn't want this to be solid. And this is where, I'm telling you, that's where Tinkercad comes in and you can modify this design. I didn't create this case for it. I found it on Thingiverse as well as the actual heart that I'm going to show you next. And this is the heart that we put together. And it's got our names on it. And this is a really, really unique piece where you start to turn it and it reshapes all the way one rotation around until it comes back to the natural heart position. Very cool piece right there. You guys gotta check this out. Print one out for Valentine's Day. Give it to your Valentine. And I made a little stand in here too. I modified this case to print with the stand right here so that the heart will just sit up in there printed it with two different colors, the red PETG, and this is PLA that the case was made in. So guys, what do you think? Are you guys going to get a 3D printer too? If you do, I'll leave the links below. You can study them, go read the reviews on them. But I'm telling you, if you can, if you can stretch the budget an extra, maybe a hundred bucks from the average printer and get the auto bed level assisting uh, printer, which I got was the CR10S Pro from Creality. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next